on getting this thing ready to actually drive is an air intake and air filter. Because right now we have two pieces of crusty old t-shirt zip tied onto the air intakes, which is better than nothing, but worse than a snorkel. First step is I'm gonna build an aluminum merged manifold thing here. Came up with a new idea for cutting silicone boots nice and straight. Put it in the vise. Cause like, if you just cut around with the utility knife, it ends up super crooked. Come on, get out of there. Well, still could be bad. What? Spring is coming, but slowly. Here to steal more parts from the Odyssey. I know everybody loves the Odyssey, we loved it too. But uh, we blew it up and we don't really have any plans on fixing it anytime soon um, because we just really don't have time. And at the end of the day, we got more exciting stuff to work on. So I'm gonna steal these silicon boots and bits of aluminum. A Sharpie doesn't fit in there. So what I've got here is a piece of TIG rod. I sharpen it on the grinder and then bend it a little bit. And this may not work super great on steel, but because aluminum is so soft, boom, scribed. So I got my little extension piece here roughly formed and uh, welded on to the other half. Got this all tacked together. Uh, it will come apart so I can cut the hole so that it actually goes to both intakes, not just the one. The test fit is a success. It fits very nicely. So now I'm just gonna like hammer this around and form it a little bit more to this. Um, and then I'll, you know, scribe it to where I need to cut out the hole on the inside and then cut out the hole, weld it back together and then move on to the next part. It's hilarious how it always takes me like 30 seconds to turn this table into from a clean space, swept clean into pure chaos. Yeah, that looks pretty good. just be an intake. Because it's two, it's a manifold. Science. Yeah, so I think that actually looks better than I thought it was going to, so that's that's good. And I have this 90 degree elbow of silicon that I think would be funny for it to go through right where that logo is, if it goes, if it goes that way. Which I think that's the way it has to go to look good. I was just looking at this elbow thing here and you know put it here and uh, Steven was joking and saying I should just put it this high and I was like, well yeah because I'm never gonna drive it through water deeper than that because that's where my head is. I would be, I would need a snorkel if it was any deeper than that. But you know, visually I think it should be up here because you know, that's how, that's how snorkels be. Point of no return here on Project Barbie Snorkel. I wanted it to be centered like right in the logo, but like that's just not where it should be. And this is the dullest hole saw on earth. That doesn't matter when you can just melt through your medium. Got my hole cut in the side. It fits in there nice. I think it looks, looks appropriate. With the uh, black rubber boot. I think we'll probably just paint the whole thing black because that's the color snorkels usually are.
looking pretty fresh. I'm going to tack a lack this together and we'll move on to the next bit. Swindle, Swindle Willie just arrived, so we gotta give him his custom Dude. extra leveraged bottle Let's opener. Let's go! That is awesome. Swindle Willie. That I was is gonna so do. I was gonna do over the speed limit Willie, but that was gonna <laughs> be like this like long, this so. This long. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. There you go. Are we releasing these two? Or At some point, just... yeah. These are all Dude. future designs. Like this one is, doesn't serve a purpose except like as a Christmas ornament. Or I'm thinking maybe are those people, all 10 millimeters? Uh, they are all eight millimeters. You could also like use it as an emblem on your car, like yeah, that that's weld it onto your rock crawler. Use it as a keychain. Yeah, really big keychain. But you know, I don't care. I just thought it'd be yeah. cool because I had the CAD file for it, so I just changed these into hexes instead of circles because it looked cooler. But yeah, and then the Yeet one is my favorite because it's Dude, got a yeah, it's perfect size. 12 too. millimeter wrench on this end, 14 on this end, and this is the bottle opener now. Oh, that works. Yeah, that's, that's sick. the bottle opener like that. And um, mm, that's awesome. Every rendition should like have a different purpose. Like, yeah, different, no, it'll have a different size wrench. So you'll yeah. collect them all and have like the world's crappiest wrench set. Yes. And also like really heavy keys. So that would just, be you know, awesome. What I forgot about earlier is that I have to do the crankcase vent here has to go up into the intake. I need to make a bung to fit this hose onto the bottom side of the intake here. I'm going to use this piece of bent snowmobile uh, suspension arm or whatever it is and just throw it in the lathe and make a bump. Isn't that just a beautiful little bung? <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. It's really just an accurate statement. I'm not trying to be weird, but like, it just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> that turned out rather nice. And then that'll all be done, and we can go test drive it, I think. I'm gonna start cleaning up our large mess of metal over here and making some boxes and getting things just cleaned up a little bit around the shop. No scraps go wasted because yeah, this is what that yeah, came this in? is the box that the Bailey came in, and yeah. now we're gonna use it to, to make, make boxes, boxes to hold stuff that we had to move to put the break there. So yeah. that's what I meant when I said no Brody goes on swindled. You may be thinking to yourself, but Ethan, you're obsessed with weight reduction. Why are you putting all this extra piping on here? This is the stock air box, minus any mounting hardware, just air box and filter. And this is the complete intake system, including hose clamps. Yeah, five pounds. This is Jenga. We're gonna weigh the extra hose clamps. Three pounds, 12 ounces. That's like a little over a pound of weight reduction and a snorkel. I call that a win. Yeet.
partially over the air filter, it runs great. So the answer is this is just a less restrictive intake than it used to have in theory. I can feel the gas in my eyes. <laughs> Rather than speculate wildly on why this isn't running right, uh, I just called up Casey, who knows way more about carburetors than I do, and he confirmed my theory that um, it just needs bigger jets. And uh, these vent hoses over here, because these are the CV style carburetors where they use vacuum to raise the slides, I assumed this might be something specific to that. These are just float bowl vents. Um, so they just vent uh, to keep the float bowls at atmospheric pressure. It's a good problem to have, to have way too much airflow. It's a really good problem. It means that there's more power to be had. If you're putting in richer jets, it means you're pumping in more air and more fuel, which means more vroom vrooms. About that vroom vroom time. It's the best it's run, and it's the most drivable it's been, and we've never tested the four-wheel drives. When a grocery bag saves the day, So a grocery bag just blew away, so that didn't yeah. work. Uh, um, this one looks a lot better too, so. Yeah, it's less terrible. Yeah. Looks less like we're trying to like kill this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, drown it out for air. Which I mean is literally what we're trying to do. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better. I suspect we may be having a big problem with the intake boots. Like, I sprayed some brake clean to see if they were leaking, but yeah. maybe they only leak at high RPMs. Yeah. And like... Because it idles fine. Yeah, it idles, exactly. Yeah. And it, like... And it would be sucking in more air. Which it will, and more leak. vibration, yeah. and they loosen up. So I think that might be part of our yeah. problem, because it would be pulling in a bunch of air after the carbs, which would make it super lean. Yeah. So, we'll do a short test drive. Yeah. Pinch me out. Ah, I got you. Glorious. Uh, although serious design flaw, I mean, it's also just the nature of it, but like when you bounce around, you just bash your helmet on the cage all the time and it's miserable. The suspension right now is super duper stiff because I have to have it raised all the way up to clear the fenders until we do the long travel. Anyway, we have a giant puddle over here. Uh, we'll probably get stuck, but that's why we have a winch. And uh, we also happen to have a hot pink inner tube. And by happen to have it, I mean it actually, I've just had it in my shed for the last like six years. Um, we didn't buy it for this, although it's perfect for it because we're gonna pull Will through the puddle on an inner tube. Will is, Will is totally willing. Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely freezing out here. There's a ton of snow. 
When you showed up today, did you think this was happening? No, actually, you know, I come prepared for the unprepared. Well, you're not gonna get wet, so. No, definitely not. I'm not gonna There's get no wet chance. at all. There's no, no chance, chance of getting wet. Hey, Steven, can you take my phone? I've already destroyed three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah, very wet. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is nice, you know? It's like uh, Wim Hof or whatever that guy. Oh yeah. It's, Dude, Edwin and Steven used to be so into that. Yeah, that people pay good thing. money to do this and I'm gonna do it for free, so. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> nice little ice bath and that was honestly really fun. Nice. I'd be down to do it again. Cool, well, I think Steven wanted to get a different angle of it. So. Awesome. Let's do it again. <laughs> Snorkels go in water, inner tubes go in water, Barbie campers go in water. You know, it's just, you know, we had to have some fun. Will goes in water. I go in water. Will, are you okay? Do we need to go get warm oh, now? Oh, I need coffee. It, it, it's like almost the end of the day. I, I know. Uh, okay. <laughs> that situation okay. brought me into the coffee zone. We call him so. too much caffeine <laughs> Willie. I say mission accomplished, great success. Uh, it may have taken a, a Ziploc bag and a zip tie, we got it running a lot better for now. And uh, the snorkel's finished. And we got to do a really fun test drive. So, win-win. There's still a lot that needs to be done, but it's everything I imagined it to be. I envisioned this particular build uh, one time when we were all having a party and we were just cruising around the woods and stuff. And like the kernel is super fun, the barbecue is super fun, but they're like really intense and it's really hard to drive them slow. So I envisioned building this as like a crawler that's comfortable and you can just cruise around the woods, you know, and just, just chill, you know, just, just chilling with your feet up. Cause with a CVT, you don't have a minimum speed. You can just putz around. I, I thought nothing could top the kernel. And in many ways, this doesn't top it at all. But uh, in many ways it does. It's, it's good.